and I'll, I'll try to talk through it for anybody who's not watching the video recording of this. So there, there's two things that I mentioned about data start, but did not really go into detail. One of those is uh, the real time aspect and the other is the multiplayer aspect. So real time. Um, so here, for example, you're looking at a to-do list and you can add items uh, just by entering them and hitting the enter key. And you're obviously able to check check things off and delete them if you want to. Uh, so this is this is this is real time now. This is um, this is powered by Craft CMS, and you're interacting with this. There's no page refresh happening. It's more like a live application, and everything's being sent to the server and coming back. Um, so that's real time is kind of solved. But this is you know this can be done with Alpine and HTMX combined. Uh, multiplayer which is the other thing which is unlocked um, by, by Datastar, is the ability for me to also open this link and uh, start adding my own to-dos. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's nice. That's nice, yeah. <laughs> so at this point now, we're collaborating on this to-do list, right? And um, this is real-time multiplayer. So... The crazy thing about this is not that, that we're able to do this because, you know, having collaborative to-do lists or even collaborative editing is, uh, you know, we, we have that in lots of applications. But the the interesting part to me is like how little front-end code this actually requires and how simple this is to do. I actually recorded a live stream, I think it was last week, with CraftQuest, with Ryan on CraftQuest. And that's available for everybody to watch. And I actually showed the code behind a live edit um, text area field. Uh, so I'm not going to show the code here, but I can tell you that like the front end side of this requires zero actual JavaScript. It requires a couple of data attributes. There's one to there's a data on load, which sets up a long lived connection where updates are being sent down. So for example, if I uh, check this off and I check this off, you're probably seeing those in real time. Yeah. That's because there is this long lived connection um, that is being kept open. So that's one attribute. Uh, there's an attribute for when you enter a new to do and when you hit the enter key, that sends up a post request to the server and then that will be broadcast to anybody else who's watching this. And then there is one for when you check a checkbox, and there's one for when you click the that trash can on the right hand side to delete an item. So it's like uh, I was counting four or five data attributes is all this is on the front end, and the rest is being driven by the back end. So you seem you seem like you just want to play with this. Uh, um, oh, it's just if, oh. if I could show, like, if I was sharing my screen at the same time, I'm not sure we can do this. Then uh, you'd see how quick this is. But it's essentially instantaneous. As I check things or remove things, um, those are coming to you uh, pretty much, you know, within a couple of. Essentially, it's the uh, the latency between you and the server. So it's going to be like around 50 milliseconds or something like that. It's pretty much instantaneous. So if we were to kind of break this down, like in terms of how would you do this normally, you would probably reach for a front end framework to to make everything work together. But then you would be like, okay, now how do I how do I turn this into a multiplayer application? How do I have like multiple people using the same thing at the same time? And that's where things become difficult because that's where you need to go back to the server and um one approach might be, well, every 10 seconds, you know, send the new state up to the server. Um, the problem with that is that you don't really get real time, right? You yeah. kind of get this lag. And what if I check something, but you uncheck it or you delete it at the same time? Who wins out, right? 
it depends on how the front end behaves. Um, so what, what's happening here is every time you interact with this form, a post request is going up to the server. It's updating the state on the back end, and then it's broadcasting that state down to all of the front ends, including yours, actually. So when you add a to-do, if you do it now, you'll see there's a tiny delay, like between the time you hit enter and the time it shows up. It's not, I'm not like, I don't have any front end code or logic that's saying, when you hit enter, take that text and create a new piece of DOM and style it this way and set the inner text to new to do. What's actually happening, and you, you could actually open a, a network tab um, if, if you would like to. Uh, we're not seeing it though on the stream, so maybe yeah. not. Okay, I, I okay. But it's probably better that I describe it anyway for list, anyone just listening to the audio. Uh, but if you were to look at the the network tab, you would see that when you hit enter for that new to do, what's actually happening is that a new so you're you're sending a post request to the server, and the the server is sending a response, but not to that post request. It's actually sending it down through that long-lived connection in the uh, via an SSE event. Oh. So it, feel, it, it looks, from, from where, what I'm seeing, it looks instantaneous, uh, and it probably feels it because if it is like 50 milliseconds, then anything under 100 milliseconds yeah, I know, I know. feels yeah. pretty instantaneous. But again, Thomas, we're not seeing, we're just seeing... Um, browser part we're not seeing the dev tool. i can confirm it's yeah, yeah, you uh, can showing me like not making uh, 58 stuff milliseconds and such oh, that's uh interesting yeah. yeah so this was for me like oh the realization this this not only this not only kind of solves the 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 missing parts for me when it came to sprig it solved those very easily Huh. But it also introduced this entirely new aspect, which is I can do real-time multiplayer applications. And that that is a huge potential unlock for me because you can... So the, what I demoed on the CraftQuest live stream was like one person's editing content and another person is viewing it in real-time. Huh. Um, and it, it doesn't take a, a huge leap of the imagination uh, to to think well, if the second person is now goes to the live edit page, we can now edit together. Like of course, there's there's some work in terms of like seeing you know where where's the other person's cursor and stuff, something like that. But like like here, we're now able to collaborate on something together, and this is on the front end. But it's nothing to stop the craft CMS team, for example, from doing something like this in the CMS. 